Jungkook was in his car, returning home after a tiring day. He had a lot of meetings and paperwork to finish. An event was approaching, and so the work was extra these days. He slightly massaged his shoulder and stared out the window. The raindrops poured over the glass, blurring the outside view. The sound providing such calming effect to his headache. Somehow, his thoughts went to his wife, who was at home, and he wondered what she was doing. His question was answered when the car stopped in his mansion, and his his eyes fell on his wife. She was happily skipping around the garden, spinning and playing in the rain. The rain was ice cold, and as much as he loved the sight of seeing that huge, beautiful smile on her, a part of him wanted to drag her inside. When he stepped down the car, his driver held open an umbrella over his head. He took it instead and thanked his driver. Asking him to return. Once the other person left, leaving Wyan and Jungkook alone, the selfish part of him stayed there, against his car, away from her eyes. As he watched her, she got down near the flowers and plucked out a rose. As she was about to take more, she hissed. The thorn hurting her, and her finger started to bleed. The happy expressions on her face long gone, as now she was trying to soothe the pain. The next moment, she knew someone was grabbing her hand very softly. The cold, near to numb skin, instantly receiving the warmth, radiating from the other. Jungkook brought her hand to his lips, somehow soothing the pain. The action almost brought her heart to a stop. Is it allowed to do such moves without a warning? He stepped near her, taking her under the umbrella as well, and kept holding her hand, rubbing. Gentle circles against her wrist. Jungkook, you'll get sick. Your body temperature is too low. Now that he mentioned it, she realized it was really that cold. Wine, it was fun, as if. His actions were not already too much for her heart. He proceeded to take the flower from her hand, removed its thorn-filled stem, and fixed the rose in her wet hair. Jungkook makes me wonder which flower is more beautiful. His voice was hoarse as his eyes shifted from her to the flower. His gaze was so intense. Yet there was some softness hidden behind it. Wine turned around to hide the blush, creeping up to her cheeks, and went inside with him, covering both of them with the umbrella. She could go back and play all over in that chilly rain by the amount of heat traveling down her body. It was not normal. Every word he said, every time he looked at her with those eyes, nothing about him was normal. Wine, I'll go shore up. 
He nodded once they reached the room. Jungkook also changed out of his office attire, getting in his comfortable trousers and oversized t-shirt. Both of them had their dinner. Once they were all dried and comfortable, Jungkook, do you like rain that much? Wine, I do. It rained after a long time, and I was getting real bored. It was fun. Next time, I'll drag you in. Jungkook raised his bro, and Wine continued to eat. Wine, come on. It's fun. Jungkook, it's not when it comes with sickness. Did you see its temperature? Wine, you can't miss the fun for a little sickness. Jungkook, I wonder what you have to say about pneumonia. She blinked her eyes, going speechless for a moment. Jeez, he was really too ahead of it. He really needed to loosen him up a little bit. Vine, can we go somewhere this weekend? He nodded and asked her to decide any place. After the dinner, the two had a green tea. and some walked together in silence before the two slept jungkook woke up in the middle of the night when he heard some whimpers he turned on the lamp and looked at wine her forehead was filled with sweat and it seemed like she was having a nightmare When he tried to wake her up, he realized she was burning hot, and it was not a nightmare but high fever. Wine, he called her as he shook her a bit, but it was as if she was unconscious. He got off the bed and tried calling his personal doctor, but to his unfortune, the doctor never picked up the call. He brought a bowl and some cloths, and like the traditional way, started to wet them and place them on her forehead, and faced to lower down the temperature. He stayed there, being as careful as he could, as for the next forty-five minutes he did the process, changing the water again and again. And once he felt the temperature going down a little bit, he went to kitchen and made her some soup. It was 4 a.m. He had only three hours before office, but he couldn't care less about his sleep with his wife on bed, breathing in fever. When he was done preparing the soup, he brought it to room with some medicines and got on bed beside her. Jungkook, Wyeon, wake up! You need to take the medicines. He gently tried to wake her up. It took some time, but she finally woke up. Her head was hurting like someone hammered a nail down the center. She winced and whimpered in pain. Jungkook wrapped his arm around her, helping her sit. He fixed the pillows behind her to support her weight, and fed her the soup. She complained, not wanting any of this, but with some convincing, he was able to feed her a few bites. Jungkook, okay, take these pills, then you can sleep.
She was half unconscious. The only thing bringing a little senses in her was probably the pain in her head and all over the body as she shook unconditionally. Zanku held her swallow down the pills and kept her in sitting position for 5 minutes. She was asleep already. Her head resting against his chest as he held her close to him. He helped her lay back down and went to change the water repeating the process again till he was assured that her fever went down a few degrees. By the morning the doctor arrived and checked her giving some prescription. Wan was asleep throughout the whole time but Janko was not. He took an off from office as well which was clearly going to be a shock for the employees since he never once in his life did that before except for his wedding days it was somewhere 3 pm at noon when she woke up she was feeling much better as if everything went past by in her in a dream and now she simply woke up with a little to no fever She found Jungkook sitting on the single couch chair beside the bed. His legs were on the bed as he was working on his laptop. Jungkook, you're awake. He stood up, putting the laptop away, and came near her, checking her temperature. Voyan, what happened? Jungkook, you had a fever. No worries, it's almost gone now. How do you feel? Voyan, you sound like a doctor. Jungkook, funny thing, I was originally meant to be a doctor but ended up in business. Voyan, you would make one strict doctor. Kids would run away from you. Jungkook, I wouldn't treat kids. Cruel, she mumbled as Jungkook took a seat beside her and helped her sit. Wine took the glass of water Jungkook handed her and drank up. She let her intrusive thoughts win, resting her head against his chest. She wrapped her arms around his torso. It took Jungkook a moment to process, but he calmly brushed fingers through her hair. They were slowly getting closer, and they both could see it happening. Ryan, I want more roses. Jungkook, but no playing in the rain anymore. She huffed. Eat something. You need to take medicines, he said. She didn't move. She was liking the warmth his body radiated. She sworn she could get better just staying in those arms. Jungkook, all right. No playing in the cold rain. The rest is fine. She smiled and he kissed her head. Her heart skipped a beat and blushed started to creep up her cheeks. It was the first kiss from him. May it be on her head 
his uncle called the maid to bring her food and made sure she fed well and stayed beside her till she was all fine and well.